Today's video is going to focus on the positive grid riff and attaching to a PC or a laptop. Right now I have my riff routed directly into my desktop PC and directly into my guitar, routing out to a set of speakers on top of my desk. Um, typically, in when you um, open the riff and you'll get a registration card inside the box, which will instruct you to go to the positivegrid.com website and download a free copy of BIOS FX Lite, uh, which is what Positive Grid is packaging um, with the Riff. However, I had already purchased the BIOS FX2 app, um, the full copy, so I'm going to launch that um, and give you a quick look. And some of you, of course, will be familiar with uh, the workings already of BIOS FX2. Um, some of you may not be. Um, but this is um, Positive Grid's implementation um, of their, uh, we'll call it Tone Cloud, Tone Shaping um, application, uh, which a lot of people, uh, myself included, have used, of course, with the Spark Amp. Um, but it also interfaces very well with the new Riff. And um, short overview of BIOS FX2, it comes with a lot of uh, pre Included presets uh, for different amps, effects, etc. allows you to customize. Uh, you can add, remove all kinds of things in the effects chain. You can change amplifiers. But a lot of the presets have some kind of common, you know, dot. Essentially, they're modeled after um, other amplifiers, but of course, legally, they can't use the names. Um, of the amplifier manufacturers. You can typically figure out what they're going for based on um, which one you select. Um, obviously that's going to be a matchless. And we've got a AC, a Vox, uh, we've got a Fender uh, Dual Reverb, etc, etc. Uh, as you go through and each one of the presets will usually come with uh, prepackaged or prepackaged, preconfigured um, with a common or popular set of effects, uh, pedals and effects that are used commonly with those amplifiers. And again, you can add and remove these at will. Um, you can take them in and out of the chain and get rid of the delay, keep the reverb, uh, keep the amp. Let's see, go into the mod here. See what settings. I've got a Univibe. Uh, I'll bring the speed down, the intensity down, a little sample. Getting much there. Let's see. There we go. cool little effect and you can go into each of the effects um, within bias FX and just like you would on a manual pedal um, change your change your settings um, uh, customize your settings for however you'd like play another sample Take the reverb, rev, excuse me, reverb out entirely. Get a much drier signal. You can also move mic, the uh, external mic placement on the cabinet um, anywhere you would like to. And you'll notice at times the tone will vary slightly. So I'm not going to save my changes on that one. We've got a low gain, uh, fat chorus. Uh, 